uh, work to spend every minute of my time with my husband and my four boys, who are incredible. And so I just die for every second, honestly, to be with them. Where's my baby? Hey, gorgeous. Well, on a typical Friday night, you will find us at a restaurant because that is the day we eat out. So even in the Houston heat, we go and we sit outside and it's just a really fun time for all of us. <laughs> Education has been the single most important thing for my family and it's literally changed everything. My mom came to the United States at the age of 17 and she came with an eighth grade formal education. And then my dad um, is a first generation college graduate. My dad always said, I don't care what you do, just be the best at it. Go and be and get it. And so this whole idea of just hard work and discipline and focus and you can just sort of do anything if you just sort of decide that that's what you're gonna do. I grew up in the Rio Grande Valley, in McAllen, Texas specifically. I was obsessed with basketball. <laughs> we couldn't afford like a hoop or you know anything. So my dad like laid down bricks and he built a hoop. I would wake up, started waking up at 6 a.m. every morning to shoot 100 free throws a day because I knew that that would get me to be really good. <laughs> I struggled mightily when I got to DePauw. I was a top kid at my high school and I, I was, it was hard. Until I went to DePauw, I never called myself Mexican-American. It was shocking to realize that people had understandings of you that you didn't fully realize they did. I had to like find everything of what I was made up to, to get through that first semester because I would study like heck for hours and hours and my person down the hall, Beth, would study for like an hour and she'd get an A minus and I'd get like a C minus. But I could do it and, and all the kids that I went to school with could do it too, yet they were not, um, did not have the opportunity to go to a place like DePaul. And I quickly realized that education was the thing that was putting me on a different trajectory and that my mom and dad were right about that. And so when I learned about Teach for America and the understanding that Kids growing up in low-income communities, kids of color, do not get access to an excellent education. I was like, I need to fight for that. Like, that, that is true, and I, I, I've lived this. Part of my leadership style was to just want people to find their greatness, like find your voice. We are the right people to do this, and we've got to be all in for our kids and know that we believe in the impact that education has on a child's life, and we've met hundreds and thousands of kids whose lives have been changed. My name is Elisa Villanueva Beard, also known as EBB. I am the CEO of Teach for America. Mother, wife, proud Latina, and lifelong advocate for educational equity.